I literally have three t-shirts that I wear to work these ends today. Hi, my name is Nuria and this is my sewing journey. I really need to start making t-shirts or shirts, but I don't have a basic top pattern. So for today's video, I decided that I'm gonna try three different methods from these three books. I'm gonna leave the names in the description down below and I'm gonna tell you which one is the one that I'm gonna stick to for the rest of my life. For this video, I'm only gonna focus on the top pattern. I'm not gonna do the sleeves because I've tried making sleeves before and oh my God, <laughs> what, what is that, what, what? They never fit, so I really don't want to deal with that today. If you want me to make a similar video showing the sleeves, please leave it in the comments down below and maybe I'll do it, maybe not, who knows? Ah. I intend this video to be more like a tutorial slash review of these three books and these three methods. So I'm gonna try and leave you the timestamps below. So if you wanna skip to the good part, you can already go to it. Let's go! This is the first book I'm gonna be using. I bought this book a long, long time ago when I started sewing. I have to say I've made it in paper a lot of times, but I've actually never used them for fabric. I've always been too scared. It's in Spanish. What is interesting about this book is that it doesn't come with ease. I don't know if it's gonna to be too tight or how it's gonna be, but I think it's a good comparison to the other books. Second book I have is this one. I bought it this year actually, I had to make a dress for a wedding. I bought two books that didn't work out and this one was absolutely marvelous. It has all the patterns made in scale. So if you're not sure about something, you can measure. The problem is that this is only for lingerie and beach wear. So it doesn't, if I want to make coats and all these things, it's not that nice. And the last one is this book. I bought it like two months ago because I wanted to start making jackets. What I find interesting about this book is that the, the pattern, you'll see it later, has the dart here on the neck instead of in the middle of the shoulder. I chose these three books because I think the comparison between each of them is gonna be very interesting with ease, no ease and darts positioned in different ways. So I really hope that by the end of this video, I have a basic top pattern that I can use to make more than three t-shirts that I have now, please. I'm gonna start by measuring myself. You should take all these measurements and write them down in a piece of paper. Yes, let's go. You should be taking all these measurements with clothes that you intend on wearing below the basic top pattern. So for me, it would be with my underwear, but of course I'm not gonna <laughs> show you how I take measurements with my underwear. So I'm gonna show you with this huge sweater. Let's go. Number one, neck to waist. This is gonna be from this bone to the waist. It's better if you have someone helping you. Number two, arm same depth. No idea how that's called, I'll write it down. <laughs> it's also from this bone to where your arm starts. Number three, this is gonna be the front. From here, to the waist. Number four, shoulder. Until you have a little bone at the end of your shoulder, that's where it goes. Number five, chest. Is from one side, from your, I don't know, armpit, to the other one. Number six, boost separation. So from one nipple to the next nipple. Number seven, back width. Is exactly the same as the chest, but on the back. This is where someone comes in handy. Number eight, neck. Number nine, bust. It's around your bust, above your nipples. And number 10, waist. It's around your waist. And there you have it. Let's start. Wide awake in an empty room All alone with the thought of you Thought I'd miss you more than I do But I kinda like it Should I try and hide it? Got drunk and I told you I loved you On a night when we stayed 
night out to late Did I really love her? Cause I'm starting now to wonder Did I ever feel anything? But even though I give back your things From time to time you walk through my daydream Tell me what am I supposed to do? Your friends all say Like this when I'm all alone 3 a.m. and I check my phone Don't know what I was expecting See you out there living life Wish I could say the same But I still haven't found what I'm missing Now you got me up second guessing Cause even though I gave back your things From time to time compare the three patterns that we drafted and see which one is the winner. So to start, number one, as you can see it's not very good, I could not close it, I could not, but anyway I'm gonna go and describe it and say what is good and what is bad about it. Main structure, I see that the, the length is okay, is, I don't have any complaints about it, but it's not wide enough, so this is the main reason why I could not close it. Second one is the neckline. As you can see, it feels a bit too tight. It's weird, because in, from all the patterns that I had, this was the one with the biggest neck hole. So I think the reason for that is that the length of the front was longer than the one for the back. The next thing are the main lines. I think they are well positioned. I have no complaints about them, but also it's true that I could not close it. So I don't know if they fit absolutely perfect. I think the biggest problem in this pattern was that I could not fit the armhole line through my bust. So that's where the pattern would stop. And then I had to open that area. Otherwise it was impossible to put it on. You can also see that the shoulder line doesn't sit well on the neckline. I think this is also because of the length of the front and the back pieces are different. I measured the angles for the other two patterns and they were more or less the same, so I don't think that was the main problem. After this we have the darts. I don't have much to say about the darts, although they are the shoulder ones are in the middle of the shoulder, which is the same case for the first and the second patterns. And for the waist darts, in my opinion, there are too many. I don't know why you need one on the back, I don't, I don't understand why you need so many. I guess if you have a bigger difference between the bust and the waist, then maybe it makes sense. But for me, I don't have much of a difference, so it's better to have less darts, in my opinion though. Overall, this pattern is just wrong. I'm sorry. I think it has a lot of potential because the process was more or less the same as the other ones. The only thing that's missing are the allowances. And this is what I knew from the beginning and I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I had the fear that this would be the end result, and it was. Pattern number two. This one is nicer, isn't it? I don't have many complaints about this one, it fits well. I can say that the structure is long enough, is wide enough, also the neckline feels perfect. Maybe you think that it's a bit too tight, but it's because I have the seam allowances there, because I want to use it for other purposes also, and I wanted to test that. But otherwise, I think it's good. The main lines also, I have no complaints. I think they fit perfectly. The armhole is big enough. The shoulder lines are also perfect. I think it sits well on the base of the neckline and also is long enough. Although, I don't know how that would be with sleeves because we again have the seam allowance there. So maybe when I attach the sleeves, we're gonna have a problem. But for now, no complaints, to be honest. For the darts, I also don't have much to say, again, that the shoulder darts are in the center, 
and that the way starts from the back get to the bus line which is different from the first and the third case but I cannot see much of a difference because I don't have that much to take in the darts. Overall I have no complaints about this pattern. It feels like a glove. It's maybe a bit too tight when I put it on with this fabric but just because it's very sturdy. And third one and last one. This one is a bit similar to the one before. I'm very happy with it. You can see that the main structure is fine also. Lengthwise, I think it's a little bit longer than the last one, but I don't know if you see the difference and why it is wide enough, a bit wider also. The neckline also fits perfectly. Again, there's the seam allowance there. The main lines also, I have absolutely no problems. I think they look fine. The armhole is more or less the same measurements as the other one. So again, I have no problems. The only thing that it's a bit different is the shoulder line. As you can see, it's a bit longer, but I'm not completely sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Again, I have to try and put sleeves on them and see if that's actually the length that I'm supposed to. To be honest, the other one feels a little bit better if I don't have sleeves than this one. Finally, for the darts, this one is the interesting one. As you can see, the dart starts on the neckline and goes towards the end of the shoulder. This is completely different. I've never seen it before, which makes it a bit weird for me to put it on. I don't dislike it. I, I don't have any complaints about it. It's still comfortable. It just, I've never seen something like that and I really wanted to try it. I think it works. It works for me. The only thing is that the dart is standard for this particular pattern. So depending on your size, you have a measurement for a dart or another measurement, which in the other patterns, you would divide your bust line or I don't know, 20, 16, I don't remember, but you would divide a part of your measurement to know what the dart is. So this one is a bit bigger. I think the other ones were around five, six centimeters for me, and this one was seven centimeters, which maybe doesn't make much of a difference, but yeah, I thought it was weird that you use a standard measurement for the dart. Overall, this pattern also fits me like a glove. It's a little bit wider in the waistline, so it's a bit more comfy and I can move a little bit more with it. The only thing with this pattern is that there are more measurements that you have to manually measure. This can be a good thing or a bad thing. For me, it was a bad thing because I took the measurements wrong and I had to repeat the drafting process like three times just because of this measurement. So if you're good at taking measurements and you know they're right, go for it. But otherwise, I prefer if you leave less chances to get errors. So. This is personal preference, but overall, I think it's a great pattern also. So you had all the patterns and I think now it's time to know which one is the winner. Number two is the winner. I think it's the most comfortable to wear. I think it's the least confusing to make. And overall, I just said it, it fits like a glove. I know it was a long video. It was even longer to make. Trust me, but I think you can stay a little bit longer and enjoy the grand finale. And I hope to see you all guys next time. Bye! Dum 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 Whoa. For the longest, for the longest time Whoa.